Joining me now in the studio is Xie Ju Wei, Taiwan's representative to Germany. Many thanks for joining us today. Now, yeah. I understand that 40 million air passengers travel through Taiwan's airspace every year, and yet Taiwan is still excluded from the main authority for aviation safety. Why is that? Yeah, first, thank you for giving me this chance to explain this question. Why that uh, China is against it? China said because Taiwan is a part of China, so without it, its permission, Taiwan is not allowed to take part uh, on this ICAO, this International Civil Aviation Organization. I have to point out that UN or ICAO is not there to serve nations. They are there to serve the people around the world. So what does that mean then for Taiwan, that exclusion? That, that because it means uh, the safety is damaged because Taiwan served one more than half, one and a half a million flights and 58 millions of passengers in last year flying over Taiwan, taking off from Taiwan and uh, starting in Taiwan. And for three years, we were invited to take part on this assembly of ICAO. And that was to be, uh, to be, uh, to be said, it was deemed uh, consistent with the need of the safety of the ICAO. And on the panel in the last year, it was written by the ICAO organizer, it was written, we are trying hard to make sure that no country is left behind when it comes to global aviation safety. Three years ago, it was, uh, it was consistent with the need of safety, and three years later, all of a sudden, uh, there's no need of the safety. We can understand it. This, this brings me to the question, how does Taiwan get data about planes coming to Taiwan or flying over its airspace to make sure those flights are safe. How do you get that information? We have to do it by two ways. One of it is to buy information by some civil companies. And second, we have to beg to ask our friends from American, Japanese or German, for example. So we have to ask them to give us the uh, Is this expensive? Is it expensive? Is it well, risky? I, I'm not allowed to say how expensive the whole but the matter is not the price. The matter is every, <clears throat> every information that comes too late is no information, especially by such a big things like flights. So uh, we can only say it is, we have been very lucky, but not we, the passengers. The passengers have been very lucky that nothing happened uh, in, in this case. Sometimes mm -hmm. it happens, once it happened several years ago, when a flight was coming to Taiwan, and mm -hmm. shortly before that, the code name of some data was changed, and we didn't get that information enough, so our tower denied the flight, the entrance to our airport. Okay. And it could have been very, very dangerous. So we don't want to, we don't want to keep on uh, making this risk. A difficult situation. Xi Ji Wei, Taiwan's representative to Germany, many thanks for joining us today. Yeah, thank you.